Well, summer often means a vacation, but it also for blood donation centers. Summer is a critical time of the year when the demand for donations is higher than ever. You know, so uh, how easy is it to roll up a really a sleeve? Daisy recently stopped by a uh, VAH talent blood drive to find out. We're here at one of Vitalant's many blood drives that are going on throughout the city, and I'm here with one of the members of Vitalant, Kristen. And Kristen, you have several of these going on right now. Why is there such a critical need to donate blood at this time? Daisy, you may not know this, but every two seconds, a patient in the United States requires a blood transfusion. And that's a lot of blood donors that are needed to save lives. Because this is a time where a lot of people go on vacation, a lot of the regulars aren't donating. So that's why you're encouraging more people to come and donate? Absolutely. Every summer, like clockwork, our blood supply declines. And that's because people who donate blood on a regular basis get their schedules off a little bit. They go on vacation, their kids are out of school. Summer's a time of activity, and sometimes there's no time to become a regular blood donor. We're here at one of the pop-up areas, but you have several locations as well that are buildings that you can stop in and, and donate as well, blood centers. Yeah, absolutely. We have 10 blood centers, brick and mortar buildings, throughout southwestern Pennsylvania. And we have regular hours, uh, evening hours, weekend hours. We make it as convenient as possible for people to save lives by donating blood. And I have to tell you, I love the expression you use, pop-up. Uh, opportunities. Oh, we're going to start using that. Uh, the term we use is community blood drives, but I love pop-ups. That's great. Yeah, well, it, like you said, it allows people the convenience of being able to take time out of their busy day to come by and donate blood, which is very crucial. And I hear there's a really cool statistic that one person's donation can save up to three lives. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct. When you donate whole blood, which is the most common type of blood donation, your blood is separated into three components, and that's red blood cells, platelets, and plasma. And each one of those blood components goes to a separate patient right here in uh, Western PA. And that's another important thing to think about. When you donate blood uh, with Vitalant, you know that your blood is going to help a patient right here in Southwestern PA because we provide the blood to Allegheny Health Network as well as UPMC hospitals. So that could be a family member, a neighbor, a co-worker, anybody who is touched by the need for blood. A little bit of you could be in them. Wow, Kristen, that was really moving. And I mean, that inspired me. I feel the need to definitely donate some blood. So for all of you out there that want to donate, be sure to visit our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com, where we will have all of the donation sites available for you that you can definitely contribute and save a life. All right, thanks, Daisy. You know what, and it's nice to know, and I really do think it encourages people to know that the blood donated at one of the Vitalant donation centers or the blood drives stays right here in the Pittsburgh area, so you're helping your neighbors. Yeah, I think that's so important to make your appointment to roll up your sleeves to save lives. You can call or visit the website. We'll have a link with all of the information for you uh, right there over at KDK.com.